Good morning and welcome to Smart Business Strategies. I am Anna Wilds, the Franchise Economist, and I am delighted to have you join us today. Our special guest is Corey Shanahan with Gatsby Glass, a horsepower brand. Welcome, Corey. Thank you for having me, Anna. Excited to talk about Gatsby today with you. I am very excited for the audience to hear about Gatsby. So start us off and share a little bit about you. And of course, tell us about Gatsby Glass. So Gatsby Glass is the sophisticated glass solutions concept. So think residential glass, frameless showers, wine rooms, railings for stairs, balconies, patios, pool enclosures, but also we have a commercial segment. So storefront windows and doors, office build outs. You know, Horsepower Brands is a juggernaut. We own and operate nine home service brands. Gatsby Glass was the fifth brand launched under the umbrella. Wow. It's an amazing portfolio franchise with nine, nine <laughs> current uh, home service brands. And I know you're going to be keep adding and continue this amazing traje trajectory that you're on. All right. So, Corey, help the audience understand what makes Gatsby Glass unique or different when it comes to other providers of glass, as well as other home services? Well, horsepower. So the home service is the most unreliable service of all services. I so think we'll can, agree with that. <laughs> yeah, everybody's had some kind of bad experience at some, some time. So we can answer the phone, show up on time, clean up after the job and be done with the job on time. Those are four things that we can do just to out, outpace the competition. But then on top of that, we inject sales, marketing, data, and technology into all of our home service brands. And so Gatsby Glass, you know, I'll get into the specifics of it, but when your sales guy walks in, he is going to take the homeowner through an interactive experience. Well, go ahead and get into it. I mean, I think that is absolutely what differentiates you in the home services category, and especially when it comes to being a provider of glass, which is considered a commodity. So how you differentiate yourself is massively yeah. important. True. Yeah, yeah. So the, the true differentiator. So we do a great job of, of sales, marketing, data, and technology, but the wrapping of the vehicles, the marketing, the Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest ads, when the sales guy you know, shows up to the house, he's going to have an iPad in his hand with a virtual showroom, and he's walking the homeowner through an interactive experience. You know, Glass clarity, take them through glass clarity, thickness of glass, different patterns of glass, what tempered glass is, how it, how, you know, educating the homeowner and taking them through all the different options. And then we also have a visualizer tool. So the visualizer tool, the homeowner can actually build out a 3D rendering of the project prior to handing over cash to them. And so that, that increases closing ratio because the homeowner gets to see a blueprint prior to handing over cash. They feel confident they're getting the right thing. And so when they go through that visualizer tool, they can literally see, you know, is, is the shower, the frameless shower going to open the door left to right, right to left? Is it going to be slight? And so they get to see exactly what they're getting. I think that is fantastic. And that is absolutely a big different, differentiator. What I, you know, from working <laughs> for 20 years in franchising, home services has gotten in general more sophisticated with technology and marketing. But I would say that home horsepower brands has that in spades. You're really I'm sure you're going to agree with me. You're really a marketing and technology company that happens to provide home services. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, all of our, 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 our home services in general, everything that we do when it comes to marketing, the, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Angie's List, Thumbtack Networks, Yelp, YouTube, El Toro, geofencing neighborhoods. We can pinpoint specific neighborhoods that we want to target and drop digital marketing into their IP address and zip code. So we do a lot. Very sophisticated. And the old tired competition that's been around for 50 years does not do that, do they? True. So the glass is a fragmented industry. So when you think of glass, you think regional or a local play. We're really the first ones to you know, go and try to attack the national side. And we, the reason we've done that and how we've been successful is we've partnered with multiple glass fabricators. You know, we don't cut the glass. We send the measurements into the glass fabricators. They cut the glass. They send you the glass and then you install it. But we do teach you how to cut mirror and polish mirror. And that's something I haven't talked about yet. The mirror side of this is great, too. So think about gyms. Think about mirrors and restaurants. You know, so we teach you how to cut mirror and polish mirror as well. And also, I always think of the elevators and hotels. Oh, having sure. a lot of glass. Yeah. 
I didn't oh. even think about that. And he put that in the pitch. All right. Well, and help the audience understand what is the role of the owner of a Gadsby glass? Do they need to come from construction or what are you looking for? So before I even answer the question, we have two different models. We have an owner operator model and we have a semi-involved model. The owner operator model, you would be in the day-to-day -day operations. You'd be running as a GM, running the day-to-day. -day. A semi-involved model, we don't have a semi-absentee model. You know, absentee doesn't exist in business ownership. So the semi-involved model, we ask that you have 15 hours of work week minimum, and that's to build the team, to build your people, to have the right person in the right seat is key to any small business. Absolutely. And so if you're, if you're a semi-involved, you're going to hire a GM to run the day-to-day -day operations. Also, you guys have to be hire a sales manager, and then you have to hire your lead installer. Anybody that installs glass is called a glazer. So you do need to hire your first lead glazer. And what, what role, does, if any, does Gadsby Glass play in helping the new business owner recruit these people? Uh, well, we have a recruit agency in the house, and that's something I didn't mention either. So Horsepower... We have a digital marketing agency that we partnered up with nationally. We have a CPA agency that does payment processing, payroll, financial statements, and bookkeeping. We have a recruit agency in-house. We have fleet service. We're a dealer in Nebraska, state of Nebraska, so we can find vehicles and wrap them for you. We have benefits, Z benefits, home health, dental, vision, and business. And so we have the support services, the infrastructure built under horsepower brands to help you. Really amazing. All right. Now, help us understand who makes a good candidate for Gatsby, Gatsby Glass. So, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. You know, no experience is necessary in construction or home improvement. So, who are you really looking for? Yeah, you don't need experience to do this. We can teach you everything. But if you do have relationships or if you do have experience, definitely that's advantageous and you would utilize them and leverage those relationships. The person I'm looking for, you know, my job is to bring on new franchisees, but more importantly, my job is to bring on high caliber candidates that want to build a team and generate revenue. And so I'm looking for people that really want to, you know, to be on their people and, and motivate them through inspiration, not fear so much, and, you know, set expectations to meet expectations. I like that. And Corey, share with us maybe a couple of franchisees who have come into Gatsby Glass and just give us a sort of like a mini case, step, case study of where they came from, what industry, and then how they came into it and were able to succeed. Yeah, we have one of our most successful franchisees has zero experience in glass, came from software sales. Uh, I can say that he's, a, he's great at building people. He's great at inspiring people and just like, you know, setting up a, a plan of attack with his territory. But you don't, you don't need experience. You just need to have uh, a will to be, to be successful. And you have to, and also he, he, you enjoy glass. I mean, once you get into this, you're going to notice you stop, you stop like looking through glass and you start seeing glass. That's how I like to say. And yeah. so you really get sucked into the business. You know, a lot of times when you, when you hear about businesses, you want to be a semi-absentee, this is passive income. But what happens with Gatsby is you start it and you want to be a part of the business. And so this specific individual, he had no experience whatsoever. And he is absolutely, he, he beat out the, I think, first month uh, record. He beat out the second month record. And he's actually expanding right now. Fantastic. It sounds like to me, and this is what I really focus on when I am consulting with someone and helping them explore franchising and find the right one for them, is it's not what the business sells. Every business sells something. People say, I want to be passionate. Well, you don't have to be necessarily passionate about home improvement, but you do have to be passionate, I think, about how you're spending your time and who you're spending it with. So if you're like able to lead and communicate well and network in the community and build referral relationships and be a presence and really shine at that, this would be an awesome opportunity, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And so Horsepower coaches and helps you, you know, before we even cut the ribbon, we want to get you involved in the BBB, the Chamber of Commerce, the BNI groups, the Master Networks, mm -hmm. the Builders Association, Glass Association, Home Magazines. There's so many different avenues that you can get involved in before you even launch a business so that you are getting in front of key decision makers. To get well, that, 
Corey, that was a great setup for the next question. So this podcast is called Smart Business Strategies from Gatsby's Gatsby Glass. What is a smart business strategy that they employ that you'd like to share with the audience? So in the concept, you know, we want to be a 60% B2B, 40% B2C. Initially, we, the digital marketing machines turned on, you know, three month, three weeks before you, you open. People are going to be seeing your face. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest ads. So the B2C is going to be higher initially, but ultimately we want to go out and build a referral network. You know, we want to, we want to get you off of the paid leads. We want to, we want to be a 70% organic lead generation, 30% paid lead generation. So that means I, I'm looking for candidates that to go out there and build relationships with builders, subcontractors, GCs, tile guys, flooring guys, and interior designers, architects, real estate agents. These are all ways to build this referral network so they can send you leads for free. Corey, it, or help, help me understand a little bit better the referral relationships on the commercial side. So they're builders, they're, are they hotel managers? Are they property managers? I mean, help, help fill that yes. out a little bit more. All of the above. And so you can go B2C and go direct to consumer, or you can go after GCs and subcontractors and builders. There's two kinds of builders too. There's a track home builder and there's mm -hmm. a custom home builder. The track home builder wants the biggest discount. The custom home builder wants the best quality with the discount. But we'll also think about multi-unit apartments. Think about multi-unit yeah. condos. Think about hospitality and hotels. That's a whole different segment that we're going after as well. And, and I think of you know colleges and schools and universities. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of glass <laughs> in yeah. sports arenas and Yep. I mean, there's really no end. Now, shopping centers, I mean, I mean, every store's got <laughs> glass. So That's I right. can see where you're going to start seeing it everywhere. Yep. All right, well, Corey, this has been really eye-opening with the level of support that Horsepower gives to all the franchisees of all their nine, currently nine brands, and also how Gatsby Glass really differentiates itself with the marketing and the technology for what is the commodity of glass. Very interesting. So if someone wants to learn more about Gatsby Glass or any horsepower brand, what do you suggest they do, Corey? They should contact Anna Wilds and ask her how to, you know, what, what concept she, she thinks is best for them, for their, for their culture and their personality. But uh, yeah, get in contact with horsepower brands, get in contact with me for Gatsby Glass through Anna Wilds. All right. Well, thank you so much, Corey. Appreciate you so much for being here. And audience, Absolutely. thank you for being here, for watching and listening. And be sure to come back next week. Next week, we're going to have a business coaching franchisor on. And the topic is going to be on how that franchisor helps the franchisees with client acquisition. Everybody wants to know, how do we get clients? And you did a beautiful job, Corey, of explaining that from Gadsby Glass. So thank you so much, everyone. I'm Anna Wilds, the Franchise Economist. Come back next Wednesday at 1130. You're not going to want to miss it. Thank you, Anna. Wow, that went quick.